Florida lawmakers are taking a close look at the state's airboat industry following the death of a college graduate. They are considering legislation to tighten regulations for the popular tourist industry. 22-year-old Ellie Goldenberg died in an airboat, airboat crash last year. A lawmaker backing the Florida House bill says there have been seven airboat-related deaths and 102 serious injuries in the last three years. Manuel Bohorkas is on an airboat, airboat near Orlando, Florida, with how this addresses safety concerns. Manuel, good morning. Good morning. We're told the engine you see here is similar to that of a race car and can get the boat going to up to about 40 miles per hour. The captains at this business are certified by the Coast Guard, but some airboat drivers aren't required to have any type of training or certification. We got a first hand look at the undeniable draw of airboating just outside Orlando. It's clear to see why people love coming out here. Yeah, this is what it's all about. But in South Florida, the death of 22 year old honor student Ellie Goldenberg Come on, be your guide today. is prompting Florida state lawmakers to take a closer look at the largely unregulated airboat industry. Last May, David and Renee Goldenberg's daughter Ellie. The mighty river. An aspiring Broadway singer graduated from the University of Miami. We decided to go out on a celebratory airboat tour uh, in the Everglades. A day after graduation, the Goldenbergs signed up for an airboat tour that turned tragic. A short while into the tour, the driver sped up to overtake another airboat that was either stuck or had stopped, and he flipped our airboat. The couple's daughter Dana was thrown under the boat and burned. She survived, but Ellie became trapped face down and drowned. The graded part of the boat that covers the engine fell on top of her and pinned her down. So I watched her take her last breath. It happened so fast. It was just unbelievable. I think we never imagined to be in that position. According to the company that gave the tour, the airboat captain had given over 10,000 rides and was CPR trained. CPR training, along with taking a safety course approved by the state, are two provisions of a new safety bill. Florida State Representative Joe Abruzzo is co-sponsoring. We're talking about being out in the middle of the Everglades. You're far away uh, from any type of first responders to get there immediately, and you need somebody trained to treat these injuries. Sam Hot co-owns Wild Florida. You have some unique challenges with an airboat. There are no brakes, there's no reverse. The business gives airboat rides to 350 people a day. It's not often that you hear business owners say, yes, we actually want more regulations. People don't hear a specific airboat company got in an accident. They just hear airboats. And so it, it really puts kind of a black cloud over um, people's desire to come out. David Goldenberg doesn't want the new legislation named Ellie's Law to define his daughter's legacy. It's an unfortunate byproduct that we are putting in place to try and make sure that no other family has to lose a loved one. If you've ever heard her sing, saw that smile, that's her legacy. The proposed law would impact commercial airboat captains and not those who take these out recreationally. The company involved in the Goldenberg death told CBS News it supports the bill, which is still making its way through the Florida legislature. Gail? Mm, thank you, Manuel. A cautionary tale indeed. It's so your heart breaks for the Goldenberg family because you go on vacation, you think you're doing something fun, and in a split second, your life is forever changed. And we've done that before. It is a beautiful tour. It you is. To see the Everglades. It is. We were like, do not go fast. <laughs> I was like Nana on the boat, but yeah. very important information.